number of beats between uh, the hip startle actually activating has changed and that's because I've changed the uh, the relative position of the coil and the um, uh, the contacts here so when I come to make the finished article obviously I need uh, to be able to uh, finely tune the timing I've double checked my figures and uh, it uh, looks like uh, I just need to have uh, 30 teeth on this uh, uh, sort of third wheel so I've got my um, uh, minute hand uh, wheel then the next wheel and then this third one here so I'm going to uh, take those teeth off and then see about cutting 30 teeth into it um, I'm going to remove the um, little escapement wheel completely because I don't need that at all and then I'll work out uh, the shape of the teeth so that I've got a ratchet uh, such that the um, uh, pendulum just comes along and gives it a nudge every two seconds and uh, that wheel you remember goes round uh, once a minute uh, so um, uh, with the pendulum beating at about two seconds um, so we can have that pushing or pulling whichever direction it's got to go in um, to uh, set the time for us so uh, it, uh, uh, that one needs to be going clockwise so my pendulum needs to have a, a mechanism such that it, uh, it pulls that one clockwise the one I'm going to work on and that one is the one we don't want anymore so we can go back in the uh, in the tin just to confirm what I'm going to be having here uh, the wheel is like that and it's uh, little pinion is there yep. So that's that. We're going to be turning the wheel clockwise. So I need teeth uh, that are that sort of shape uh, around there, so that a, uh, a a claw or a paw can come over there, ride up the uh, slope, drop down, and then be pulled by the pendulum in this direction. Uh, let me draw that again looking at it head-on so it's like that uh, the shape of the tuff will be something like that so that the uh, uh, a little uh, uh, thing something like that can come up and uh, let me find a bit of wire something can come up swing over by the pendulum go up drop down and then pull back and then pick up the next tooth there so I've got to have um, uh, 30 teeth that are roughly that shape so given that there's only 30 uh, teeth um, I, could, I could easily just cut those in with a file what I will say is there doesn't have to be anything precision about this um, I'm not looking to make a precision clock um, uh, if the gears are slightly misspaced uh, it doesn't matter all that matters is that on each successive swing of the pendulum uh, that little ratchet goes over sufficiently far to pull the tooth and move it so as to prepare that tooth or, or the next tooth for the next oscillation I have to have something uh, a little mechanism uh, that stops it um, 
the, this this little paw from pushing that. So I'll I'll have something else that uh, that comes in and and drops up and down. So as uh, pivoted there, and then as this tuff swings round, it'll lift that up and it'll drop it into the next one. So as when the pendulum swings that way, it won't uh, cause it to spin in the opposite direction. Um, hope that's clear. Okay, I'll turn my attention to the gear itself now. I'm sorry about the lighting. I'm I'm working in the uh, workshop and the windows there, so the lights the lights coming in this way. But uh, I've now got uh, a little bit of wood with some kitchen foil on it to uh, reflect some light back. But uh, even with this angle poise, it's uh, it's just not enough for this little Kodak. Uh, um, ZI8 uh, camera. Okay, um, this is the little gear that uh, I'm going to be modifying, and um, it's a, a die cast aluminium arbor. And um, the central body of the gear is uh, die cast, and uh, the little um, uh, pinion. Uh, they're actually wires are die cast into uh, this arbor and and that's fine um, I wasn't expecting it to be very accurate um, uh, in terms of being central but I'm just going to pop that into the drill there and I'll just zoom in and get a bit closer that's it um, and as I turn that um, it, it's seemingly quite concentric so uh, I could now just uh, take a file and uh, file those teeth off and just get it round. Uh, so there's nothing precision about what I'm setting out to do here, nothing at all. It, it needs to be reasonable, but it, it's, uh, it's not millimetric accuracy that's needed. So I'll probably put it in the, uh, in the lathe, because I've got a little lathe, so I may as well use it. But if you wanted to sort of copy this project, you could remove these teeth uh, with a file. It wouldn't be beautiful. A, wa a watchsmith uh, or a clockmaker or a horologist uh, would be horrified at the prospect. But you can make clocks out of wood. It's, uh, it, it's not rocket science. Not what I'm doing anyway. There are some beautiful watches out there if you uh, look at the internet. Boy, there are some good stuff. Uh, this is not one of them now. Uh, okay. What I meant to say was, had this um, die casting been uh, eccentric, then as the wheel went round in the drill, so we would, uh, we would, uh, we would have seen it. Uh, it would have appeared to have done that as it went round. Um, uh, so as I say it's uh, r remarkably uh, accurate. Okay, that's uh, got rid of the teeth. Okay, so there's my uh, toothless wonder, as they say. So I just need to mark that up. Get a proper class up. I've just put this uh, gear back into the uh, frame and I realise that in actual fact I've got rather a large gap all around it so if I wanted to add some big teeth on the outside of this uh, I could do that 
say I'm working completely without a plan I'm making it up as I go along um, and sometimes that's nice because uh, things don't get in the way and uh, whatever I can find I can use so uh, it could even be that I put a, a, a large brass brass washer around the outside of this um, maybe soldering on or something and, uh, and cut my gears in there so I'm only going to have 30 teeth so I can make them quite large and it would be nicer to have them uh, in a, a little bit more depth than uh, just this bit of land that I've got left on uh, on this wheel oh look at that <laughs> hey, you have to have some luck sometime